Hey, good morning, everyone. Here we are again. Uh, this is a beautiful home in Anasquam, Mass., uh, which is part of Gloucester. And it's, uh, it's just wonderful. Just look at it and uh, beautiful windows and shutters. And, you know, it's just great. Take your time drawing this out. It's a little tricky. And please forgive my big head. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, somehow the positioning of the camera uh, caught my, or maybe it's the positioning of my head. Anyway, I apologize, and I'll do my best to uh, not have it in the fo in the video, but it gets better. All right, so I'm beginning. I usually don't begin a painting this way, but I'm beginning with the uh, really the center of interest, which is the house and these beautiful windows. But uh, I'm a great believer in you know if you uh, mess up the main attraction of the painting, uh, you might as well do that in the beginning so you don't waste, you know, an hour or two painting and then have to throw it away. Anyway, <laughs> there's, the, there's the windows and the shutters. I painted those in first so that I would get that done. And uh, you can see a little bit of that. Straightening out some lines here. There's a window on the right side here and a little little addition that, that's uh, on. I'm not sure if, what that is, the kitchen. Anyway, we'll begin with uh, a wash of uh, blue in the sky. This is a combination of cobalt blue and Windsor blue. Windsor or Thalo, Thalo, they're both the same. Okay, just, just drop it in. I wet the sky first and then I just drop the blue on there and let you know, let it go where it wants to go. It gives you a nice sense of movement in the sky. There's a house in the background there. I'm painting over that because it's it's much darker than the sky, so it'll be fine later on. All right, nice wash. Just let it go. Pick up the drips. All right, I'm going to put the shadow on in the house. This is a combination cobalt blue with a pinch of rose. And uh, I'll change that as I go through here. But so I'm just painting around with that the windows and the black shut. As you can see, I, I put a pinch of rose in there, a little stronger. It's nice to get a little variety in the in the uh, colors of the shadow because it gives you a nice sense of reflective light and you know light bouncing all over the place, which it always which it always does, and that's what makes it so beautiful, you know. I'll just let you watch, watch this go on. This shadow, I think, is uh, coming from trees across the street. It's a small street, and uh, there's nothing else. You know, it's right in the middle of this little square in Anisquam. Shadow of the shutter. Okay. All right, there's a nice shadow on the dormer here. And there's a pinch of, you know, there's a pinch of light on the corner there that looks nice. All of this is, uh, so you want to just put, this whole left side of the house is in shadow. So we'll get that on there first, get that all in. Gives you a nice sense of form for the house. Beautiful. All right, drop some rose in there. Just, just put it here in there and let it show, you know, a little bit of difference in the, like as a reflected light. All right, I just put some, a little drop of, uh, ultramarine in that mix and using it to paint that house in the background there. And you don't need much more than, than we just did. All right, there's a row of hedges in the front of this house, which are very, very dark. And in the, in the front of all that, there is that, this is a stone, they, they call it the stone chair. It's a rock that is shaped 
like a chair, and people love to go to there, go there and sit on it. It's just just a novelty that they have. It's it's very, very nice. It's interesting. It's very homey. All right, so I'm doing a little dry brush on that uh, on those hedges so that some light comes through here and there. Not too much, but just enough to give you a sense of of the bushes and the light going through the bushes. And on top of it, there's a I put a little yellow in that mix of that's ultramarine and a little quinciana and a drop of uh, raw sienna. I think I put in that to give it a little sense of green. And on the top, I use the uh, a really yellow to make it a little more green, give it a little bit of sense of light on the top. All right, we're going to go in the back here. Uh, there's a, it's autumn. When this photo was taken, it was in the autumn. So the trees in the back are very bright. And I started with uh, cadmium red and raw sienna. And it, it's very bright. You can actually use some aurelian yellow. And then I'm adding uh, on top of it this uh, raw sienna. So you get, you're giving you several uh, different uh, layers of yellow. I added a little cobalt blue here to give you the sense of a, a tree in the background. You can see it's very dark. So that's raw sienna mixed with cobalt blue. So it gives you a sense of tree and it, it outlines that house, the back of the house for you, which is very nice. So keep that nice and bright. So you can use a really in yellow and cad red for us to get that bright yellow and then go into the raw sienna. Same over here. Uh, give you a nice backdrop for the house. It outlines the house. The raw sienna is very bright here. All right. Uh, there's, some, there's a tree in the background with some, some nice leaves up in the sky. So just you can see putting those in. put some branches in a little bit later on. But you can see now uh, how important those windows and shadows are. They're really the whole painting. So I think you kind of want to do those first to make sure that, uh, you know, it's right. And take your time with that because it, it's really the whole painting. I right, added a little cobalt blue to this mix uh, to get a green tree. That's in the middle of all this. It's a bunch of trees in the background, but leave plenty of sky holes, plenty of light over here. You know, the left side has none, but the right side has, has the trees growing and coming up in front of that house in the background. All right, there's a very dark evergreen on the right here. Uh, this is ultramarine. I, you can see I added some rose to that to give it some warmth, you know. Uh, Spring it up, and what that does is it gives you a beautiful uh, sense of depth. You know, brings warm and dark always come forward, cool, light, go back. There's a picket fence in front. And it uh, has a little gate there, so just leave those posts. So I'm just putting a little bit of uh, the pickets with that dark color. All right, while this is still wet, I'm scraping out, this is a credit card, I'm just scraping out the bottom of the tree. It has a little light on it. All right, I mixed up a, a dark color here. This is ultramarine with a touch of quinciana. I'm putting a, a little strip of dark on the roof line which is really nice. It outlines the roof. And then adding these shutters, the window shutters. Just make sure you get the angle right on these. You can see how it's going down. Some little, little shutters on the back there. That roof outline. It's really nice. It finishes off the line. So I like to do it very carefully on the white on the White House, 
gives it a nice okay all right the, the fence is in shadow here so i'm just dropping some uh actually phthalo blue on there with some cobalt mix i like to mix the cobalt with the it is a close-up of that chair it really is funny it looks just like a chair you can see and people do sit on it so i put a little raw sienna in there and then a darker gray and then a couple of drops of of warm color there okay there's the warmth I have some dark green there's a big bush behind it which is very nice casts a nice shadow Just a little green, a cobalt, uh, ultramarine with some really yellow in there, uh, maybe a little raw sienna mixed in. So it's, it's a little square, you know, it's where it's a little intersection where some roads meet. And I'm putting the street in here, that you can see there's a, a drop of, uh, I'm using raw sienna and cobalt blue and some rose to mix this color. It has a little rose color a tint to it, so put that in there, let that dry, and then we put the shadows in. All right, the foundation of the house is that brick color. Here we go again, it's, it's cadmium red and cobalt blue. It's a mix that you should know when you, whenever you're doing rocks and uh, bricks, bricks, it's a beautiful color. I punched it up with a little cad red there in the front. It gets darker in the back. I just let those mix. There's a drain pipe coming down that I'm leaving there. All right, yeah, so it goes down. You can see it's going down the hill. A little gully in the back. All right, there's a bush growing here, close up on that for you. So it's just a dark ultramarine with uh, quinciana. You can push the quinciana so it's a little warmer. Pop it in there, and then just bring up the bring up the leaves. Here's the shadow, ultramarine and rose, a little bit of uh, raw sienna, gray it down. More pushing the rose towards the front so you get a nice mixture. So you can see it's just shadows of leaves. All right, so the, the, uh, there's a bunch of trees in the background and I won't put you to sleep doing all of them, but. Uh, I'll do a couple for you and you can see. Start with the strong, the trunk and the heavy branches. You know, get those all in and then move to the smaller branches. And, you know, it's a very, this is very warm. There's a lot of light on the top of it. So it's a, you know, just quinciana touch of cobalt blue or ultramarine blue. All right, so there, here's some, all right. There's the finished painting. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you like that. It's wonderful, the paint houses, you know. They're, they're really uh, so, so much part of our community. Thank you so much, and I will see you again very soon.